shows everywhere. There were times that I didn't know if I was going to see my dad again alive. Joyce Shank's social media is filled with flowers, but like many, it hasn't been a flowery road for her during the pandemic. Both her parents live here. The Donald Berman Maimonides Geriatric Center, a publicly run senior's home in Montreal's Côte St. Luke, and after a damning report into Quebec's handling of the pandemic in long-term care homes during the first wave, where 4,000 seniors died in just a few months, many are having to relive the gravity of this situation. My dad it has this incredibly positive outlook and a great spirit. And he's he's a super guy. He used to be a songwriter. He used to be a French teacher. After suffering a brain injury due to a fall, Shank's father, Harvey Stoliar, was placed into long-term care home six years ago. She'd taken him out often until the pandemic hit and non-essential visits became prohibited back in March 2020. I would take my dad out to eat every week. So I forced my dad to walk with me. I wouldn't take his wheelchair in the car. My dad doesn't walk anymore because nobody would walk with him. Still, she considers her family to be one of the lucky ones. My dad did not get sick in COVID, thankfully. The floor where my dad was previously, sadly, they lost many patients. In a critical report released November 23rd, Quebec's ombudsperson Marie Rinfre says residents of long-term care homes were cast aside during the first wave of COVID-19. Nearly 4,000 people died in these long-term care homes between February and June 2020, accounting for nearly 70% of the deaths reported in Quebec during the first wave. These dramatic events uh, needs to be an incentive for change. They need to um, uh, encourage us to uh, make radical change and to rethink the model of CHSLDs. Shank says caregivers like herself have been vocal about the findings before the report was released. We could have told you that. Like, you spent months working on a report, and no offense, it's very comprehensive and it's got everything that we were saying all along. Reinfres' 27 recommendations include creating a detailed plan for infection prevention and control measures and rethinking how the province provides living spaces for the elderly. Today, Boatshank's parents live at the CHSLD and hope that sharing her story will help people down the line and avoid a repeat of what happened in senior homes during the first wave of the pandemic. There are people who died alone. I... Sorry. That should never be. I'm not going to point my finger at one person or one facility, but it is really, I think that kind of has to kind of come to us as a population, as humanity to kind of go, how did we let, how did we let this happen? In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.